What's up everybody? Numismatic Oki here and I'm showing what I got today at the bid board on, for the auction at the coin shop. <coughs> like I said in the live streams we had a pretty good day. Um, got a couple things the little girl needed and then some little stuff I wanted to pick up. I think we spent just under 90 I think it was like 84 82 or 84 dollars or something like that. So first up is an 1883 Indian head for the little Penny Girl. That's what I'm going to call her from now on on video is Penny Girl. Got some stuff on it. And then she got an 1868. It's kind of dark, hard to see, but it's, it's in pretty good shape. Pretty happy with it. She needed it, so I'm glad, she, I'm glad we got them. And then I've been doing some of these presidential ones. These two I picked up because I hadn't seen them yet before, but I liked both presidents. I'm a, I love to study U.S. history, and I liked both Andrew Johnson and Ulysses S. Grant. So I picked these two up. I got them the pair for... Uh, I have a picture of it. I, I want to say it was like seven or eight. I'm, I'm sure it was a little over... There was someone there trying to bid people off of them. But they are proofs. All of these are proofs that I got. And they are a 69D cam. So, I mean, I'm pretty happy with that part of it. Because they're nice. Um, I hadn't seen them in an NGC yet. So I'll be on the lookout for them in NGC. And then I got these four. It's the first four presidents. So Washington, Adams, Jefferson, and Madison. And they also all are in 69D cam. So, Jefferson, I mean Washington. Ah, not supposed to do that. 69D cam. And then Adams. Jefferson, and Madison. And the reason I grabbed all four is I have the same four in 69 Decam, but in NGC. <clears throat> so now I have them in both the same four in NGC and PCGS. So I chased them. I paid 15, yeah, 15 for the four. So that's not too bad, seven fifty a pair. Um, pretty happy with them. I'll add them to my PCGS box along with the other two I got. And then I got a 1963D in MS64 Benjamin. And really, really happy with this one. Really good looking. It's got full bell lines on it. And I'm super happy with it. I think I got it for, I want to say 21. Yeah, 21. I got this one for 21. So, MS64. So 1963 DMS64. So it's over 18 but under 45. So I would put it somewhere around 30 just to make a guess. And I got it for 23. So I got it I think I got a really good deal. I got a little bit of equity in it and I'm sure as time goes by that equity will go up a little bit. Um even though I'm not even a little bit worried about selling it. I believe this is my first graded Benjamin. Sorry, <clears throat> excuse me, I really like that one. And then one of the, not really a steal of the day, but definitely a really good price of the day is this Zombuck. 
that I picked up. It's the 2018 Zombuff from the Zombuck series. It's in the capsule, so. Looks really good. Doesn't look like it. Look, the capsule's got a few little scuff marks I can feel, but I mean, I can swap the capsule out. I've got capsules. And believe it or not, I picked this guy up for $23. Uh, I just looked on Provident and in raw form. Right now they're going for 40, but that's with the little box and the holder and all that. So by itself for 23, I feel pretty good about that buy. I'm happy about it. It's my first Zombuck. So, but I have a feeling you're gonna see more in the coming videos, because I really do. At first I thought they were kind of goofy and now they've kind of grown on me. So there will probably be more Zombucks in the future. And then I picked these up and I mean, honestly, if I had read this little guy a little bit more, I probably wouldn't have picked them up, but they are certified. They're $20 September 11th silver leaf coin certificates. So they're just silver leaf. Three nines fine silver leaf over what I'm assuming is a cardboard of some kind. Um, yeah, it looks like just some kind of stock paper, cardboardy type, thick paper with uh, some silver leaf laid over it. But they are pretty. This side has the twenty dollar bill, look, has the twenties on it, and it shows the skyline. And then the other side has 9-11 on it. And it shows, obviously, the Twin Towers. So I joined the military because of 9-11. So when I see stuff about 9-11, it kind of hits a spot with me. And it's got a little Armed Forces seal on it. That's pretty cool. I didn't see that before. But anyway, uh, there's probably... 50 cents of silver in the two of them at the most. Probably not even that. It doesn't say how much weight it is. Um, but I got them for three bucks. No one else had bid on them. I honestly thought they were silver all the way through and I was like, wow, why is no one touching these? The fact no one bid on them should have been a clue that they weren't really something sought after, but they're cool looking. And uh, I'll definitely keep them for the 9-11, the you know, the historical part. Um, and they came with their little certificate. The serials match on them, so. But, yeah, I mean, it was a pretty good day. Less than 100 bucks. It's probably my my smallest day. I usually, I usually spend much more than $100. But there's all that. So, that was my winnings for the day. Um, I do have a quarter ounce gold panda that I'll be picking up soon. I'll definitely make a video about that. You guys are going to love that one. And I got a bunch of other stuff coming. So when it all gets here, I'll show you anything that's not a Christmas present for the wife. But she was with me when I picked out that quarter ounce panda. So she already knows about it. And uh, talk to you all next time from the farm. Have a good one, y'all.